Warren, you listen to uh, Cam Newton today, and you hear him talk, and he says it's put up or shut up time. Which one do you think it is? Do you think he's going to put it up, or do you think he's going to have to shut up and sit down? <laughs> I think he's going to have a good chance to put up in the off season. Obviously Mac Jones trying to learn this new system is going to take a little bit of time. And so I think cam is going to have the step up. He obviously looks a lot different than Mac Jones does physically. And I think that that's going to be a difference from the coaching staff, seeing what he looks like and just how he can get the ball up. But in general, I think it's going to be shut up time after a few weeks in the season, the new England Patriots play three top five pass defenses from last season in the first four weeks of this upcoming season. And it's going to be very difficult on him to put up really good numbers against those teams. And I think Mac Jones, just some of the ways that he's going to elevate this passing offense will be on display in the preseason in games that cam isn't going to be playing deep into Mac's going to have a chance to shine. I think he's going to do enough. I definitely think this team makes the transition to Mac, at least based on what we know right now. I think that will happen early in the season, but I do see cam starting out the season as the starter for the Patriots. Yeah, Warren, you've been pretty bullish on Mac Jones saying even before the Patriots drafted him that you thought he would be a good fit for this team, a pro ready quarterback. So if you think that he is going to get an opportunity to start sooner rather than later for the Patriots, what kind of expectations should Patriots fans have for him, though, considering he is a rookie? Yeah, look, I mean, I know Bill Belichick, he wants to turn this thing around really quickly. He made every effort in the offseason to be more aggressive than he's ever been before to do just that. But the reality is with a rookie quarterback, you have to have an extremely solid roster around him to really get a lot out of him. We saw the Pittsburgh Steelers like back in, you know, years ago, get a lot out of Ben Roethlisberger, his rookie season. They still didn't make the Super Bowl, but they got a lot out of him uh, by asking him to do very little, very few pass attempts, rely on the run game, rely on the defense. The Patriots defense is going to look a lot better this season. That's going to really help elevate this team is in terms of what's required out of Mac Jones to kind of reduce that ceiling as to what they need from him. That being said, I think Mac is going to do really well with New England. I think the positions that they have make it very easy for him to thrive. I know momentarily we're going to talk about the tight ends, but when you have really good running backs that can catch the ball out of the backfield and really good tight end weapons, like that really helps a quarterback tremendously. So I think it's very friendly for Mac Jones to get production early on once he becomes a starter. Warren, do you think that Mac Jones becomes the starter because of what he is doing in practice and maybe what they see in preseason games? Or do you think he ends up in that starting position because Cam Newton has not succeeded? That's a great question. I think it's a little bit of both. I think that Belichick's not going to stick him in. A rookie quarterback, not going to stick him in unless he's earned that, unless he's shown well enough in practices in the preseason to have a firm grasp of the offense, of the checks that need to be made at the line of scrimmage, and everything else that the quarterback position entails with Josh McDaniels and Bill Belichick. That being said, I also see a little bit of struggles out of Cam Newton that first month of the season. Thus, like the two things will coincide, and ultimately, Mac gets in there soon. Well, Warren, last week on this show, we had a, a local writer by the name of Andy Hart on with us, and he wrote a pretty convincing column that next to the quarterback, Stephon Gilmore might even be more important to this Patriots team, that if he does not resolve his contract dispute and he's not on the field, you can kiss any kind of good season goodbye for the Patriots. He is that important. In your estimation, is Stephon Gilmore's presence that important to the Patriots' success? Well, he's nowhere close, in my opinion, <laughs> to being nearly as important as a quarterback. Absolutely not. I can't even entertain something like that. But what I will say is that right now you guys have two, uh, one of the best outside tandem cornerbacks in the NFL. Your, your guys are incredible. And if you lose one of them, it absolutely is going to have a trickle down effect. It's going to impact how long these guys have to get after the quarterback from a pass rush perspective um, and what those quarterbacks that they go up against are going to be able to deliver. I absolutely love Gilmore, but 
if they can't get him on the field this season, I do not think that that's going to completely tank what the Patriots are building for the 2021 football season. I think it's still going to come down to how quickly Mac can get himself ready to get on the field. And let's say Cam does put up and does end up getting a lot better. How well does he weather those first four games and how good does he come out the other side of it? But it's going to always come down to the quarterback position more so than any one player on any other spot on the football field, whether it's offense or defense. All right, then with that said, what do you think the Patriots should offer Gilmore to stick around? You know, that's very difficult. Um, depending upon the cap space that they've got for the future, uh, look, you are in the enviable position, assuming that Mac Jones ends up working out, of having a very cheap, inexpensive quarterback. And if he gives you above average production, this is what most Super Bowl teams are looking for. Most Super Bowl teams are built when they have a quarterback on a rookie deal who's delivering above average production much better than what he's being paid for then you have the flexibility to build around this player and bring in more expensive uh weapons and pay guys that are deserving of it so i think you might have the opportunity to pay gilmore if mac ends up looking like he's going to be the guy for the future um if mac doesn't obviously then you don't want to have this burdensome overpriced contract that you have to deal with for one of your defensive players. Well, you literally wrote the book on how you think the 2021 season is going to go based on what you saw in 2020 and then projections for this year. So what can we expect in your opinion from the Patriots this season? I think the defense, we'll start with the defense, even though offense is significantly more important. The defense went up against a much more difficult schedule last year than they did in 2019. And I was saying during that 2019 season, this defense is not as good as what their record indicates, as what their stats indicate because of the opposing quarterbacks and the opposing offenses that they were playing down the stretch. And I predicted a defensive regression heading into 2020 for the Patriots before even they lost all these guys due to the COVID opt-outs. They get some of those guys back. They have some new pieces on the defense side of the football, and their schedule looks a lot easier. This defense, with or without Gilmore, should look much better than what Patriots fans saw on the field last season. And with this offense improving, as it's going to go as far, again, like I said in the Gilmore discussion, as far as these quarterbacks can take them. If one of them can step up, claim control over this offense, I think with the tight ends and the run game that you guys have, the offense of line being overhauled and rebuilt in a better light. I think this team is absolutely going to be in contention for the postseason. And this is a team with a coach that understands new circumstances. Seven teams are going to make the playoffs, a 17 game season for the first time ever. How do we have to navigate these types of things? We're going to have to make different difficult decisions from a playtime perspective or getting guys healthier. When should we rest different players? How should we operate during the practice week? Do we need to adjust anything? I trust Bill Belichick to make those decisions better than I trust most other coaches in the NFL. And so in a season of change, I think you guys have the upper hand.